What's going on everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today's video we are giving Squidware a um, second chance. We are going to be comparing more things to it. I gave it four to five, I think three months to improve on a lot of things. This is the update version and it does seem like they add some more things into it but they did add some more they had decompile scripts and everything and they even have this now where it'll say if you're up there or not anyway let's go find the script all right so after a while searching we found three guis and auto farms that look like they should be good first one be testing the dimensions one all right so now that the game is fully loaded let's go get the script copy and paste into exploit execute once execute once more okay there we go so let's just see if it actually does work teleportation on the auto farm with script where it does work now let's execute once more Okay, and so it does work. It does work, apparently. So I guess we'll move on to the second GY. Alright, so the next side of farm is Zombie Rush. So this is also a GY, so let's download it. Load up the game. Alright, so the game is loaded up. Let's execute. The only problem that I have with this is that you have to click execute to inject. That is the only problem, but... That's not really something that's a big deal. Okay, so it does work. The stats that we are just now getting works and everything. So, um, yeah, I might have been wrong about the script where at first. So, let's move on to the other script. Alright, so next script is project.cell, so let's download it and then inject into our executor. Let's execute the script. Alright, so even this works. So we're going to try to find something that would be complicated that wouldn't work on normal exploits so let's go find that all right so the next script is expanding forces aimbot and stuff so we're going to be downloading the version 2 and as you know final forces has a great anti-cheat they patch a lot of stuff a lot and so yeah let's just download version 2 Alright, so since the game is up, let's inject and execute the script. Alright, so as you can see here, it does not work. Now, I would know the script works because I tested it on... And so, yeah... It's script word is not as bad as it was before though. So let's go see if uh, version 2 works. Okay, so even version 1 does not work. And so yeah. Alright, so the next script is its arsenal script. So let's look up arsenal. Okay, so let's inject the next script. Alright, so I don't know if this is actually a GUI, but no error has popped up yet. So what we'll do is just load into the game. All right, as you can see there, it lagged. So I'm guessing something with the Roblox, I mean, scriptware didn't let it do it right. So, um, yeah. 
Alright, so overall, I would rate Scriptware a 8.5 out of 10. It's not overall bad. It has some issues that needs to be worked out with, such as improvements in UI, some extra features in it, and functions that needs to be added. Overall, it works very well. It's not like it did last time where on most scripts it lagged. So if you want to buy this for a backup executor in case science somehow takes too long to execute, you can do that or you can use that as your main one if you're not doing heavy executions like paid scripts and everything. Other than that, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I remember it. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.